closer. Hi, I'm Gage Peterson, and today I'd like to talk to you about speed lights and what to do with them. That's too much, too much. <coughs> Inhaled spit. <coughs> Hi, I'm Gage Peterson. Today I'd like to share with you a simple trick I use for lighting indoors. When I first started shooting, I used mostly natural light, and by mostly I mean pretty much exclusively natural light. When shooting indoors, this really limits your options for how to expose something. Usually you crank your f-stop all the way down, your shutter speed as low as you can possibly get it without having any blur, and then you just crank your ISO up as high as it needs to go. Sometimes this means about 1600, 6000, 12000, you never really know. So. Pretty quickly, I realized that I needed some other source of light and everyone's first go-to, I feel like, in the photography world is something like this, just a simple speed light. Now this is a little higher end than what I started with and it's probably like two or three times the amount of power, which is just so nice to have. But they're not as intuitive for a beginner as you would hope they would be. I've never actually taken any classes or like read any manuals or watched any videos on how to use these. So I kind of just like played with them until I got how to use it. The first thing that I feel like most beginners do, including myself, is you put this on top of your camera, you point it at someone's face and you take a picture. And what you'll find is that the lighting is garbage. It is just not great lighting and it is harsh and just direct and doesn't provide much contrast and it, or I guess it provides a lot of contrast, but it's, doesn't provide much interest and it's just flat front lighting, which is generally something you try to avoid. And if you can tell right now how I'm lighting my face is just from this side mostly. So what I'm doing is I actually have two LED panels right here and here, and they're both facing straight up, or no, I guess not straight up, but they're like angled like this right at the ceiling and then it's hitting the ceiling and bouncing down onto my face. And what this does is it creates a nice diffused light source and a nice big light source because I'm using multiple of them and it will it, it looks pretty nice right I mean I think it looks okay and this is kind of the idea actually this is the rare where I got this is from the tip that everyone learns usually as soon as you do the first shot on their face and you say hey maybe speed lights aren't as great as I thought they would be I'll just deal without it then you go and look up how to use it and the biggest tip that you tend to find is you instead of pointing it straight at someone you either point it at a wall next to them or you point it at the ceiling or going towards a wall and kind of the ceiling I'd rather it come at an angle this way than straight from the side so now that I've explained what most people will do in a scenario with one speed light the thing that I adopted pretty quickly, uh, having been living in a basement for the last three years, I have four windows like this down here that just aren't very pleasing to the eye. And not only that, but the amount of light that comes in them just isn't extraordinary. So one thing I started doing as soon as I invested in a transceiver, and unfortunately for this tip, you need a transceiver. So today I'll be using the V862S for Sony. It's a pretty powerful little flash. And then I have the Godox X1T transceiver on top of my camera. All flashes will accept some sort of transceiver and you can even find some cheaper options out there or used options for anywhere from 30 to $100 for a pair or even $150 for a single one. So the whole idea behind this is to just kind of boost the natural light coming from the window. I'm just giving it a little helping hand from my speed light here. So let's get into it. I hate when people say stuff like that. I'm gonna just go put this over there. I'm not gonna... To start, I'm gonna start with full power and I'm shooting at f8, I believe, on my camera, and that way it kind of simulates a, a lens that anyone would have, a uh, shutter speed of 200, and I'm just gonna take a couple portraits of myself and I'll overlay it and I'll tell you what my... Now that I'm really far away from my mic, 
I'm gonna put this just kind of right here. You can see I have a hot spot right here maybe. I think you can see it in the video. This is where most of the sun is coming in. So I'm gonna just kind of help that out and instead of trying to balance it over here and having two weird light spots, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. And I'm gonna aim it straight up at the ceiling. And I've done this multiple ways. I've aimed it at the ceiling to bounce down and kind of reflect back in. Um, I've also aimed it up into the corner in the wall so that it does the same thing, kind of bounces back in this way. I've aimed it at just the wall. I've aimed it straight at the slats. It all kind of works, uh, but I find that the ceiling provides a more natural look. If you point it straight at the slats, it'll have a definite hot spot if you end up shooting towards it. And I feel the whole purpose for this particular um, light setup is that you can shoot candid. You just put it in the window and you take pictures. It's really great for my son because I just put it in the window when he's playing around in our living room and I just shoot. I can shoot from wherever and almost all the lighting options are really good. I'm using this particular lens because it's macro. So no matter how close to my camera I am, I can still press the shutter button and it will take a picture of my face hopefully. Let me see real quick if this is gonna get me. So as you can tell, I'm positioned with the camera facing this way with the light on the side. And that's, that was on purpose. I tend to like that more dramatic look. As I was saying, I like to have the light casting on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a couple more photos and just show you what it looks like from every angle. It's still nice and soft, but it's just not as intriguing in my opinion. So as you can see, that last one is a little dark. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my f-stop down to f2.8. If you have an f-stop low enough, that's what I would suggest doing if you're shooting towards the window like this. Uh, it's really gonna bring up the exposure on my face and blow out the back, but it does look pretty nice. So it's a little too hot, so I'm just gonna bring the flash down a little bit. Man, I look tired. Let me try a happier pose real quick. There we go. I look much more lively in that one. Okay, so as you can see, you can get different lighting effects with this. Obviously, you can just play around with it. Like I said, I really, intend for this to be used as more of a candid photography trick. You just put it in the window when you want to take pictures in a certain room of something and it's really nice for kids because you don't have to set up a light and try to capture them in one spot and they can just kind of play in whatever room they're in. I'll go ahead and post some of my photos that I've used with this technique at the end of this video. If you have any questions, let me know if you've used this technique before. Let me know. I would love to see photos uh, if you can send me them. I don't know how, just like send me a message and I'll be like, yeah, send me that photo, bro, you know? So that's my quick video. I really want to start doing more videos. So this is just kind of me having a quick idea and being like, hey, I don't know if people do this. So I'm just going to put a video online. So that's what I did. And I've already rehearsed trying to make this video like three times. And this is my final rehearsal, the real deal. So. Without further ado, this is the end of the video. Take more photos, always take more photos. Push yourself to shoot more. If photography is not your thing, go push yourself to do the thing you love doing. Um, you don't necessarily have to make a career out of it. Just keep doing what you love because that's like the point of living, I think. And the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. The more you get to brag to your friends and colleagues, right? So that's it for today. Have a good one, folks.